want anyone to live in a country for so long. It's <laughs> See, I thought you were going to give him shout outs for offering to do tests for everybody no. on Ultra. Kim, but Kim no. is the best guy, and he has the biggest heart, and he also has turned into a pretty amazing player by grinding over there, but he's also got. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I am not. I was never a good speaker of any kind of Japanese, and even I'd be like, I don't know if that's the right word for that. But. <laughs> well, that's oh. true because you used to travel to Japan all the time, so you probably see him there a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, he's a great guy. He's a great okay. guy. Definitely loves the arcades and uh, getting yeah. it done over there. And here we go. So we got E. G. K. Brad going up against Jace the Ace, Cami versus Viper. Now it's Are really interesting ready? because both characters have very similar strategies, which is kind of rush down vortex, but uh. I just feel like Cammy's versus Viper is more effective than Viper's versus Cammy. Generally, I agree with you. Uh, we'll see. Jace has also had a little interesting. St oh wow! No. no. Whoa! Ooh, I have never seen Jace the Ace miss fierce, faint, fierce. Let me tell you, that is some sign of some nerves right there. Interesting stuff. Let's see, get him to land on a seismo. Predicted the forward. Forward dash, it came back dash. See, that's a tricky thing, right? I mean, you sit there and you think, wow, Jace's Viper's really active. Really, yeah. he's not doing anything because those seismo feints um, really amount to nothing. Yeah. And J Jace missed another link there. And K Brad just went in with the grab, smelling blood, saying, this guy's off his game a little bit. Mm, nice. Jace, knowing he doesn't need to high jump cancel on the ultra for the victory, just goes into the thunder knuckle. Simple combos. Builds a little meter. But both a, a little bit of uh, a little bit of shakiness, possibly some nerves here already. Oh, dashing in, trying to get a reset. Good I like throw, the throw. The throw. I like yeah. it. Unexpected. Oh, back a, at you. But it's a forward throw, so Cammy oh. does not quite get the same off of it. And what is going on? Everyone's missing links all over the place. Check the floors. Everyone's dropping combos. Here he comes from the front. Gets the overhead. Tries to chase him down. A big damage opportunity for K Brad. Great focus, oh. dash forward, and he misses the jump dive kick. I don't. Wow. Maybe a late night for these gentlemen. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, shake it off, come he back. Yeah, both of these guys in general, I think, have some really top-notch right. execution. I mean, you've seen K-Brad do uh, all complicated, fierce, fierce combos with Cami all day. Jace right. the Ace, obviously. Excellent Viper. And you saw, too, even though Jace won it, he was still shaking his head after his victory. Like, uh, that was yeah. not clean at all. Here we go, big punish, and again, missed it, but fortunately the Got plink the short, yes. gave him the short, so he was okay on that. That is one of the advantages of plinking, is that it kind of option selects for you in the situation where both buttons will work as part of the combo. Focus back dash to escape. Oh, oh, good pressure here. Jump roundhouse from Cami, reaching so far. And again, the Drop. dropping the combo doesn't matter. <laughs> Building a little extra meter with that uppercut. And closes it out. It's been a That's bit of a mad scramble here. Let's see who can find their center here. Now, Jace has been I have it sticking to a common strategy where he does a, a lot of ground approach at the beginning of a match before taking to the air. Um, if you, oh, wow. Actually, Cammy ducking underneath that one. He doesn't Always. want to do it because K-Brad's punished almost right. most of his attempts. Oh, he thought that was going to be a cross-up, and there you go. Oh, and he gets the dizzy, so he should be able to take this. Spends the meter. Wow, oh, wow. I don't know about that. Ooh, oh, this here is comes. not good. Here he comes. Should have went with the ultra, but he here didn't do it. Here comes K-Brad, goes low, but drops oh, it. Oh, he missed the low jab into low. I think he wanted to do low jab into low forward. He was yeah. scared the low strong wasn't going to reach. That's a harder link, so he hit it earlier and accidentally chained into the short on the plink instead of actually getting the low forward link. Mm. Great combo there. k oh. not dropping that one and catching the back dash. Oh, goes low again. Yep. He's been getting so much out of that. Let's go for a Sako combo, and he oh. drops it. This is... Oh, oh and, and Jace drops too. And this is both men shaking their head. Jace not sure what's going on. K Brad also disappointed with the execution so far. And you see Vi now jumping up to help Jace the ace. You know, I mean, it's funny. Coaching used to be frowned upon, was banned from tournaments like in 2009, and nowadays <laughs> it just doesn't even matter. 
<laughs> well, I think a lot of people have adopted the sort of one coach yeah. sort of allowed. Well, I think sitting on stage with you is yeah. one coach. Right. But then in between matches, people can run up and <laughs> talk to you. It just, I don't or, know. Or if you're by, you can just yeah. lean over. <laughs> the rule seems to change. It is a special card. Yeah. yeah. I remember Team EG has been doing remarkable here. All of them have made it into top 16 on winner's side. Justin had to uh, uh, knock Ricky into losers. Hey Brad trying to join Justin. And this is, yeah, considering what a scramble this match has been so far, uh, both men can be shaken very badly. You know, these are both such execution heavy set play characters. That and to I, not feel like you have those tools properly functioning is very scary. And I really, really like Jace the Ace going with the burn kick on wake up on against the cross up because it's airborne on first frame. Yeah, so what are you going to do? What's, what's the worst punish you're going to get? Right, and he's been getting caught by empty jump low yeah. short so much that that burn kick is going to work out for him. Oh, good, good patience to block that. Getting Cammy to burn her meter on him. Oh! EX is, e oh, and the cross up air burn kick! Three in a row, and he has not gone to cross up air burn kick very often. He's been keeping it from the front. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting because Vipers, like I said, a very vortexy mix up kind of character, and Jace has been playing very patient, and I like that because I do feel like that's the better way for Viper to fight Cammy. Oh, very risky. Oh! Oh, crouch fierce. You're not getting away. Oh, very challenges, but the hit's done. Wow, Jace just kept swinging. Knowing he was in full danger of Dizzy, yep. did I not care. To, I was about to say that trade, he was fortunate that he didn't get Dizzy, and I would have liked to have seen him run away a little bit. Yeah, that's one of the, and the, the, the other thing about the uh, trading with the EX cannon strike is so dangerous, but like the hit stun on it is so big, right. very difficult to get anything follow on as a follow up. Something you see a lot of Vipers do. Every time they get a full meter, they tend to spend one immediately on an EX size mode. So Fierce Faint Fierce won't accidentally super. Mm. Again, that wake up burn kick is saving him. It's a great strategy from him. Okay, Brad does not have the answer just yet. Oh, there's great the great standing, standing Fierce. Standing Fierce. Oh, air to air collision. Great Good block cancel. from K Brad. Looking, I oh, really... here we go. Whoa, he went for the reset and he got it anyway. And oh, then just a meaty uppercut. Wow. K Brad's gonna take it over Jace the Ace. K Brad, the second EG member to get into the winner's side of top top four, basically on the winner's side. And I, I I gotta say I can't give it really to either gentleman in the in the execution department in that round. But I think K Brad's adjustment there, which was really smart, was realizing this is a bit of a scramble. Yeah. Like, we're both a little bit off the rails, and smelling that and going for pressure and things that well, normally you might be show a little more restraint in those situations, but he just said, We're both scrambling, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna put on the pressure, and he ended up getting paid off in that final exchange.